All right. So you've established your Coinbase account and you went through all of the, you know, the, the, the routine of uh, you give them your driver's license, you give them, you know, all of your personal information. It's just like setting up a bank account. Um, and now you're able to buy Ethereum and, um, and, you've, and you've done that. And then you've also sent that Ethereum to, let's say, your MetaMask wallet, right? And so here's some of funds on Ethereum, uh, some Ethereum funds that's sitting on my MetaMask wallet here. And the next step is, how do you buy Hex? Well, um, that's what this video is going to be about. Um, but before we do that, I actually want to send a little bit more Ethereum uh, to this wallet and you're only going to be able to see half of the transaction because I'm going to do the other side from my phone, but I want to show you that part anyway. So I want a little bit more Ethereum in this wallet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on buy and I'm going to go to view account. And this is the QR code. Um, and this is the actual address number for this Ethereum account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my phone um, from across the room and I'm going to scan that QR code um, and send it a little bit of Ethereum. And so here I go and that worked. And I just want to send it, let's say, let's do another, uh, let's do another, let's do $50. Okay, continue, right, and it's going to cost a about a dollar to do that. The fees are, are getting high in Ethereum, um, but they're working on solutions to that. And so I've sent it and it might take a minute or two for it to actually receive um, this. Okay, here we go. It's already there. I didn't even pause. It took, you know, 10, 15 seconds for it to get that. And so from here, we've got some money and uh, we've got some Ethereum on this wallet. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy some hex with this Ethereum. And so that's this process. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of decentralized exchanges that are new to cryptocurrency just in the past year or so that allow you to, to make these purchases without any signup. And this is a revolution. This, is, this didn't exist in 2017. So no email no sign up and no risk this is massively important this transaction that we're that's about to take place is done using this wallet on this browser and i didn't have to send them my money and trust that they give it back to me right and that's the power of this so once it's on your wallet and you're in in, in your control you never have to surrender it to make a a, a purchase uh, to buy another cryptocurrency on the Ethereum blockchain. There are other exchanges where you can send um, cryptocurrency to it and hold it on the exchanges. I don't recommend doing that anymore. The future is here. The, 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 the goal of this is to custody your crypto, to maintain and control your private keys um, and, and to take responsibility and do that. And that's the hardest part of cryptocurrency it's securing 12 random words that's that's the hardest part about it and it's not really that difficult but it it takes a little bit of effort and practice at first but once you do that um, you are you are light years ahead of where of where this is going and when it gets there you're going to be really really happy that you took responsibility and you control your keys and you don't hold your your cryptocurrency on exchanges for them to get hacked or for your account to get locked or hey if you want to take them off it's a two percent fee or um or i need to see your driver's license or you forgot your password there are so many hiccups and pitfalls and 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 not controlling your keys right and not controlling your crypto in crypto it's there's a saying not your keys not your crypto and it's very serious. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost in the last 10 years because this step wasn't followed. And Hex forces you 
to take control of your hex if you want to stake hex for more hex. That's one of the that's one of the things that's revolutionary about hex. You control it. You're making trustless interest. You're the bank, and the hex contract is minting you more hex because you took hex off of an exchange and put it on your private key and then staked it on your private key. And that's all you have to do to control it. So right now we're gonna buy some hex, right? We're here at moonswap.exchange. If you just type moons, uh, mooniswap.exchange and connect your wallet, we are well on our way to buying hex. So let's do that. It's There's a bunch of different wallets you can use. We're using MetaMask. Click that. I accept the terms. MetaMask, it's going to talk to the wallet. All right, there's the account. We're gonna go to next. We're gonna go to connect. All right, and so now this decentralized application can now read the wallet and see the funds that are on the wallet. And what we want to do is swap um, Ethereum. So we just click down and we want to do, um, let's do point 0.1, right? We want to swap Ethereum for hex. So we click down below, we type in hex and it pops up, cool. All right, and it tells you immediately, you're gonna get 11,341 hex for the price of one tenth of an Ethereum, okay? And then down here, it tells you the price impact or the slippage less than a percent to do this. And if you're happy with this, uh, with this uh, exchange, you can go ahead and click swap and it's gonna tell you it's going to confirm it's going to just reiterate what's about to happen and you go to click confirm swap it's going to pull up your metamask and it's going to ask you what's the what's the gas fee right and gas fees are going up right um what they're asking for is six dollars and 74 cents worth of ethereum to process this transaction and that's a lot of money um and so when you when you when you are going to make these exchanges um, it's really important that um, you know you're not making multiple ones. But what we what, what one of the reasons why I like MetaMask is it also allows you to speed the transaction up by going and hitting that edit button, and it, and actually increasing the gas fee so that it happens even faster. If if you're you know if you're trying to make sure that you're not waiting five, ten, or forty two or thirty seconds to uh, to actually process this transaction. So when you click save, we've increased the gas fee. We're happy with this transaction. We're gonna click confirm. And now it's submitted and we're waiting for hex to be deposited into our wallet. And while we're waiting, we can try to add a token. We go into add token and we click hex and we type hex. We see that MetaMask hasn't added hex to its platform yet and this is unfortunate there are um, there are ways to add this uh, to add hex but I believe that once it's once the transaction is complete we'll be able to actually see what's going on we'll back we'll, we'll actually be able to see hex in our wallets we're just going to give it a minute for this to, to this for this transfer to take place all right, so I'm pretty sure the transaction is complete, but we don't see hex in our Ethereum wallet. And so what we're going to have to do is, is is manually add hex to the MetaMask wallet. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's not difficult. It's just needs to um, you just need to uh, identify the hex contract address, which we have here. And I'm going to post this into into the description into the video so that you'll have access to this you'll be able to copy and paste it it's important to not send money to this address okay this is it, any money any funds that are sent to this address are going to be locked right and so we're going to copy this address right here right and we're going to manually add hex to our metamask 
custom token. If we paste it there, it pulls it up. It automatically pulls it up. And you go next, and then it and then it can see. We go to add token, right? And now it can see that we have hex on this wallet and Ethereum. This wallet, uh, the, the Ethereum network can hold dozens and dozens of different tokens and coins on one address, on one seed phrase, right? So now that we have that, we have purchased hex and we have a little bit of Ethereum and the and so that's going to wrap it up for this video the next video is actually going to be um, how to use the hex contract and how to stake hex um, for more hex for trustless interest and so um, i'm going to make that video here shortly but that's going to do it for this video um, thank you guys very much